Hi, welcome to this channel. In the previous session, we were discussed the compounds of group 17th element. The one compound we discussed in the previous video, uh, the compound was uh, chlorine. In the next session, let us discuss about the second compound from group 17th elements or from halogen is nothing but hydrogen chloride. also called uh, represented in terms of HCl okay this HCl was first uh, explained by or the com uh, not composition okay there is a gas there is a gas evolved during the treatment of acid to sodium chloride the thing was explained by Glover in 1648 and after that, after several decades, the composition of gas was explained or given by Davy in 1810. Uh, what's the reason of uh, study of the scientist, name of the scientist? Uh, for your exam point of view, the competitive exam point of view, there may be a possibility of asking the questions based on the name of the scientist okay uh, and in one side name of the scientist another side name of the compounds at that time there is a uh, there may be a possibility of asking the question in that way okay uh, that purpose we should know the uh, few name of the scientists and the compounds that's enough for your, your competitive exams okay uh, chlorine and hydrogen chloride like that in p block Okay, so these two are the very important concepts. Hydrogen chloride, the gas evolved during the treatment of acid to the sodium chloride. Okay, so that part was explained by Glober in 1648. Next, uh, the composition, idea about the composition of the gas was given by Davy. Uh, the same person give the idea about a chlorine. Similarly, in case of a chlorine, Shiele identify the gas uh, during the treatment of uh, sodium chloride, sorry, H, uh, hydro hydrogen chloride and the Mn MnO2. That that gas is given by Glover. The gas is evolved during the uh, mixture of sodium chloride and H2SO4. The global could not explain uh, what is that gas, what is the composition, and all that. Shiele used that gas and treated with the MnO2. The another type of gas is evolved with the yellowish color. That gas, there is a presence. Uh, Shiele give the idea about the presence of that gas. Next, after all that thing, Davy was given the composition of both the gas. The first gas that from sodium chloride, that gas is nothing but the hydrogen chloride. And the next one is the gas evolved during the treatment of MnO2 with the colorless gas that evolved from this mixture. That yellowish color gas is nothing but chlorine. So that idea was given by David. Okay. Similarly, the development of uh, the different types of the compound happening in the in these years. Okay. So this is about the history of the evolution of the different compounds from the halogens. Okay. Next, uh, the important things under the hydrogen chloride is preparation of HCl okay or preparation of this one hydrogen chloride preparation of HCl the HCl was prepared in earlier case uh, it is from sodium chloride automatically okay the first uh, reaction that uh, taking place between the solid hydrogen sodium chloride and sulfuric acid 
the sulfuric acid liquid so the acid is treated with sodium chloride solid salt then there is a evolution of a gas is nothing but hydrogen chloride and the byproduct is sodium bisulfate sodium bisulfate is is this in the form liquid if we take an a large quantity of sodium chloride during the reaction then whatever the byproduct is produced byproducts is sodium hydrogen sulfate that byproduct act as an another reagent okay the same byproduct sodium hydrogen sulfate liquid that formed in the earlier case react with an excess of sodium chloride that present in the reaction condition and again gives hcl and it produce sodium bisulfate sodium bisulfate is formed so this is the complete reaction of preparation of hcl so what is the reason of the second reaction the there is no limiting reagent if we use a large small quantity of small quantity of sulfuric acid then the byproduct acts in the next step byproduct acts as an another reagent and it consume the sodium chloride and gives the product okay it's a commercial method and useful method the laboratory method okay the same reaction you observe and you uh, practically you are done in your the first year part uh, during the analysis of uh, acid radical in the during the second group acid radical the salt contains sodium chloride or in organic salt that contains chloride is treated with an acid concentrated sulfuric acid at that time you observe the colorless gas and with the pungent odor that colorless gas with pungent odor is nothing but a hydrogen chloride if salt contains chloride not not it may be any other salt it may it should contain chloride that's enough okay uh, there is no condition or composite things in sodium chloride the salt contains chloride is treated uh, better to represent like that cl minus when cl minus is treated with an acid strong acid then always it produces a colorless gas with pungent odor is nothing but hydrogen chloride okay this is the method of preparation of hydrogen chloride only one method uh, there is no difficulty i think in this case uh, let's move on to the properties of hydrogen chloride properties of hydrogen chloride properties of hcl and what are the properties of hcl under physical property okay under physical properties and the physical property hydrogen chloride yes you already know the gas with colorless correct so yes colorless gas the physical state and the color it is colorless gas then odor yes pungent odor with suffocation pungent odor gas hydrogen chloride is colorless pung pungent odor gas next the very easy to liquefy the gas around 180 kelvin 183 kelvin it liquefies uh or boiling point is very very low okay uh not very low so moderate uh, boiling point is observed uh, but easy to liquefy when it is liquefied uh, it liquefies into a colorless liquid with the pale yellow not completely colorless the pale yellow color liquid is observed okay that liquid is nothing but hydrogen chloride and it has a freezing point also it possible to freeze the hydrogen chloride okay liquefaction and freezing is very very easy 
because of the it, the boiling point and freezing point is very near to the room temperature okay around 100 kelvin variation is observed therefore it's possible to liquefy by applying the pressure and uh, cooling the or decreasing the temperature and all that next uh, solubility what about the solubility of hydrogen chloride when we observe the solubility of hydrogen chloride the hydrogen chloride is soluble yes it is soluble in water okay it is ready soluble in soluble in water what happened during the solubility when we treat the hcl with water we know that hcl is acid therefore when dissolving water it ionizes ionizes means reversible okay it ionizes into hydronemine and cl lines is formed conjugate acid this forms uh, forms and the value of acid dissociation is more than 10 raised to 7 in case of sulfuric acid it is more than 10 raised to 10 here we observe 10 raised to 7 so it is more acid more acidic or strong acid acidic character is more in another word it's a strong acid the k value acid dissociation constant higher the value of k higher is the acidic strength therefore it is a strong acid the value give the justification or give the idea about the strength of the acidity okay so strong acid so this is the solubility uh, this reaction give the idea about the solubility yes hydrogen chloride is soluble soluble because it dissociate the dissociated ions combinedly called in water what happened the water contains h plus and cl minus ions the dissociated or when hydrogen chloride is dissolved in water it is known as aqueous solution of hydrogen chloride okay when it is dissolved in water it is known as aqueous solution of hydrogen chloride okay this is about the uh, physical properties of uh, hydrogen chloride okay next we move on to the chemical properties of hydrogen chloride what are the chemical properties of hydrogen chloride chemical properties of hydrogen chemical properties hydrogen chloride shows few chemical properties the first one is reaction with reaction with ammonia when hydrogen chloride so as per the physical observation uh, as well as the value of k that indicates uh, hydrogen chloride is strong acid when that strong acid is treated with the base ammonia it gives what happened this one is acid okay this one is base acid base reaction gives a salt correct because of that it gives a salt NH4C again it is a liquid okay ammonium chloride is formed when we mix the gas or liquid of ammonia and hydrogen chloride then there is a formation of ammonium chloride again this is the pungent odor liquid okay uh, this is the reversible reaction actually it is reversible it is depends upon the condition it is it happens in lower temperature it is not reversible it happened in a uh, little bit higher temperature than room temperature then the reaction is reversible that indicates it is not complete stable. The salt is not complete stable. Okay. Uh, <coughs> not only a strong uh, base, uh, the the weak bases also react with the HCl or hydrogen chloride. Okay. Uh, the weak base like sodium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate, 
okay sodium carbonate sodium bicarbonate so these are also react with hydrogen chloride and that gives this one gives sodium chloride h two o water as well as carbon dioxide gas so the same thing, type of reaction also observed in your laboratory correct the when the carbonate salts first group acid radical when carbonate salt is made to react with the acid you have treated the hydrogen chloride in first group acid radical reagent it is so this reagent is treated with the carbonate component or carbonated uh, contains uh, salt like sodium carbonate then there is a evolution of a bubbles effervescence that effervescence is nothing but a evolution of carbon dioxide uh, when bicarbonate react with hcl that is also sodium chloride is formed and h2o here how to balance this reaction two hydrogens are there two hydrogen then you should multiply to here okay. because here two cl nacl2 here co3 2 minus because of that two okay so this is the balance and chemical reaction uh, this reaction and this one is a little bit important for your exam okay this one is not important okay next other properties other chemical properties are the mixture of hcl gives and hno3 act as a good solvent okay under the reaction of uh, hydrogen chloride we observe the 3 is to 1 amount of or mixture of hcl and hno3 if you uh, one important property the mixture is nothing but aqua regia okay the mixture is known as aqua regia how much 3 is to 1 ratio of hcl and hno3 okay this is the very important uh, composition you should remember for your exam point of view okay uh, hcl and hno3 hcl is 3 ml of hcl mixed with 1 ml of hno3 in like that or you consider 30 ml of hcl then you should add 10 ml of hno3 that mixture is known as aqua regia this aqua regia is a good solvent has ability to dissolve uh, noble elements like platinum gold silver like that okay when what happened when gold is dissolved in no3 minus aqua regia excess of hydrogen chloride is used here gold is dissolved in Okay. When gold is dissolved in aquaresia, then it forms AuCl4 minus, actually AuCl3 because of excess of that AuCl4 minus and it forms water. How much quantity of this one is there? Four H plus. Therefore, two quantity of water. The remaining thing is N and H or N. So here we observe the dissolution of or solubility of AU and get converted into AuCl4. 
the aqua regia has ability to dissolve the gold similarly platinum similarly so please remember this thing okay aqua regia is a mixture of 3 to 1 ratio of hydrogen chloride and HNO okay next what are the uses of hydrogen chloride uses of hydrogen chloride first uses uses the hydrogen chloride is used to preparation of chlorine used to preparation of chlorine sodium chloride ammonium chloride and glucose in a few cases the glucose also prepared from using hydrogen chloride and it is used to extract the glue from bone extract the glue from bone and other uses are in medicinal field and laboratory uses okay so it is it acts as a solvent it acts as a good acid and clean cleaning purposes uh, it has ability to dissolve organic substances because of that uh, or like paint and all that therefore uh, it is used to cleaning the uh, uh, tiles and floors okay uh, has ability to dissolve the organic substances because of that it is used in the cleaning cleansing purposes okay so this is about the uses of hydrogen chloride okay in the next video we will discuss about the oxo acids and interhalogen compounds okay thank you for watching